let Garmin assist getting you started with your RV795 navigator. Your RV795 device will come with a vehicle suction cup mount, vehicle power cable, and vehicle power adapter. Let's begin by going over the RV795's hardware. The power button is located in the upper right-hand corner on the back of the device and is indicated by a power symbol. This is used for powering the device on and off. On the bottom right hand of the device is the USB-C port which is used for connecting to a power outlet in the vehicle with the included vehicle power cable. This port is also used for connecting to a computer or AC adapter. Your micro SD card can be inserted into the slot next to the USB-C port. Using a micro SD card will provide additional storage space for maps and other data. Now that we have covered the hardware basics, let's go over mounting and powering the device. Determine where you would like to mount the device on the windshield. Clean the area with rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. It is your responsibility to ensure the mounting location complies with all applicable laws and ordinances and does not block your view of the road during the safe operation of your vehicle. Press the suction cup to the windshield and flip the lever back toward the windshield to secure it. Then press the mount onto the suction cup ball until it snaps into place. Next, plug the vehicle power cable into the USB-C port on the device. Plug the other end of the vehicle power cable into the vehicle power adapter. Then plug the vehicle power adapter into a power outlet in your vehicle. Fit the tab on the bottom of the mount into the slot on the back of the device. Press the device into the mount until it clicks. We are now ready to begin the initial setup of the device. Choose your locale and select OK. Then choose a language and select OK. Read and accept the end user license agreement. You can connect to the Garmin Drive smartphone app to access additional features, including live traffic updates and hands-free calling. For more assistance, check out our videos on pairing your RV795 device to the Garmin Drive app. Next, you can connect to an available Wi-Fi network. Select the network you would like to connect to. If necessary, enter a password and select Done. You will be asked for your consent to Garmin collecting, using, and sharing your device data. Select either yes or no. Select email address and enter your email to register your device. Select offers and promotions if you want to receive promotional emails from Garmin. Then select continue. Read and agree to the warning. Now we will need to create a vehicle profile. Routing and navigation are calculated differently based on your vehicle profile. It is critical that you are as accurate as possible when entering your vehicle information. Select your vehicle type. You would select motorhome if you have a motorhome with a permanently attached camper. You would select motorhome with trailer if you have a motorhome pulling a trailer. You would select vehicle with trailer if you have a camper pulled behind a passenger vehicle. These vehicle profiles will provide turn-by-turn -turn directions using major roads allowing large vehicles. Once you select a vehicle type, you can set the trailer configuration if necessary. For this video, we will be selecting the Motorhome with Trailer profile. Select your trailer configuration. Select Travel Trailer to add a camper pulled using a standard hitch. Select Boat Trailer to add a boat trailer pulled using a standard hitch. Select Trailer to add a trailer pulled using a standard hitch. If you previously chose Vehicle with Trailer as your profile, you will see an additional fifth wheel option to add a camper pulled using a fifth wheel hitch. After selecting your trailer configuration, you can set the characteristics of your vehicle. Select or enter your vehicle's maximum height, then select Next. Then enter your vehicle's maximum width followed by your trailer width. Next, enter your total length. This includes the length of your vehicle and any trailers combined. Then enter your trailer length. 
Enter your total weight of the motorhome and trailer. The vehicle profile requires a total weight of at least 7,000 pounds or 3.5 tons to calculate RV appropriate routes. The device will not take the vehicle profile into consideration when calculating a route if the total weight is set below this minimum. Next, enter your trailer weight. Your basic vehicle profile has been created. The wrench button is used to edit information and add additional vehicle information. You can also enter information about onboard propane tanks. The device will use this information to avoid or provide warnings for any roads with propane restrictions your RV exceeds. Always follow posted regulations and road signs to ensure compliance with any existing propane restrictions. To begin, select the propane tank icon in the top right of the screen. Then select Add Tank. Next, enter the weight or volume of the tank. You can select units to change the unit of weight or measurement. You can add more tanks if necessary. Select the back arrow when you have added all your propane tanks. Review your vehicle profile and make sure the entered information is accurate. The initial setup is now complete. If necessary, go to an open area with a clear view of the sky to acquire satellite GPS signals. Lastly, let's check for available updates to your device. You can use a computer and the Garmin Express software if necessary, but the Wi-Fi option requires fewer steps. To successfully complete a Wi-Fi update, a wireless connection to home high-speed internet is required. It is important to avoid using a mobile hotspot. Check out our Wi-Fi connections video for tips to ensure your Wi-Fi update is successful. From the main screen, select Settings. Then select Updates. Your device will automatically search for available map and software updates. A blue download arrow indicates an update is available. A green check mark indicates it is up to date. Select Install All to start all available updates. Read and agree to the end user license agreement if necessary. Read the important installation notes and select Start. If you have not connected your device to a power source, you will now be prompted to do so. Follow the on-screen prompts. These updates will take an extended period of time. You will not be able to use your device during the update. Once the update is finished downloading, wait for the device to restart. Your RV 795 Navigator is now ready to use. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.